So it is really pretty easy and straightforward to print and cut something like stickers with Cricut when you start with a good design file and a PNG file is what you'll want to use. Um, so we're using this small business PNG sticker set from Sofonsi. So I th threw a link in the video description uh, to where you can find it um, so you can grab it for yourself. So in a new Cricut Design workspace, click Upload and upload the image and browse to find the PNG sticker set saved on your computer. And then Cricut is going to ask you about this image file and its complexity. And if it was just black and white, then you would choose the simple option. Um, but with all these colors, you'll want to choose the complex option. And if you click simple, then in the image viewer, you'll see that not every part of the image is displayed. And so this is going to tell you that you want either the moderately complex or the complex. Um, but even moderately complex still doesn't show you every uh, detail of the image. So that's why we chose complex and then um, just click continue. And then you're going to be given the option to remove the background from these images to create ready to cut images. But the nice thing about a good PNG file like this one is that the background has already been removed. So that's nice. Um, and that's indicated by this checkerboard. So whenever you see um, a checkerboard like this in um, a design software, that is usually indicating that there isn't a background to the image. So great, all you need to do is then click apply and continue. And then Cricut will ask you what you're gonna do with this image. So are you going to cut uh, just the shape of the images? Uh, well, no, we're gonna first print, then cut them out. So select that and then click upload. And so now here, this image lives in your recent uploads. So click on it and then click add to canvas. And then one thing you'll notice right off the bat is that the image is going to open super, super big. And this is typical and normal for high quality PNG files like these because they were designed with the intention of being printed. So they are saved as a high quality large file so that when you print them, then the print quality is going to be really nice. Um, but in Cricut, um, you're going to get this warning icon here. Uh, so if you hover over it, it's going to say that this image is not supported. The reason why is because it, the file is just too large and it needs to be resized to six and three quarter inches by nine and a quarter inches or less. So then you will need to resize the image to make it um, to fit within those smaller dimensions. Um, and then this warning message will go away and then you are ready to make it. Okay, so then after clicking make it, then you're going to get this print preview of what the print then cut is going to look like. And here everything as is, is as it should be. So just click continue and then you'll need to send this document to your printer for printing. And you'll you want to print your stickers on some white sticker paper and um, the design prints with a big black box around it, which is normal for print and cut because this is what the Cricut is going to read to orient itself for cutting out the designs. So um, make sure that you place the sticker sheet, the printed sticker sheet, uh, onto your Cricut cutting mat in the same orientation as it appears in Cricut Design Space. That's very important. And then for cutting, select sticker paper as your cutting medium. And then you can go ahead and load this onto your, uh, into your machine and start cutting. And what's going to happen is the Cricut is, Cricut is going to scan and look for that black box on the sheet um, so, it's no, so it knows it's in the right place and then start cutting. And with the sticker paper material setting, uh, then the Cricut isn't going to cut all the way through the paper. It's going to do what's called a kiss cut so that um, when the uh, Cricut is done cutting, you'll be able to just peel away the sticker from the backing.
And then that, my friends, is the basics on print then cut with your Cricut cutting machine. So then if you want to give this project a try using the same small business stickers designs that we use, then there's a link in the video description where you can grab these designs. So thanks so much for watching, friends, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye.